I have another live ballet workshop coming your way on Sunday, December 6th from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But guess what? I'm not the only one teaching. I'm pairing up with two mega ballet dancers, Alessia from Lazy Dancer Tips and Katherine Morgan. We're bringing you three hours of ballet content plus a 30 minute Q&A where you can ask us anything. Early bird tickets are available, but only for the first 100 purchasers. So if you're on Instagram, swipe up on this story or go to the link in my bio. And if you're on YouTube, go to the video description and click the little link to go to the event details and ticket page. This is for all levels, all ages, and all time zones. You can not wait. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Flexibility Friday is all about hip mobility. So I'm going to be taking you through a routine to boost the range of motion in your hips. Let's do it. Blood pumping in those muscles, warm, start off with some high knees. Engage your arms, make sure they're not just by your side. Lift them up, point those toes, get those ankles warm, those feet warm. We're gonna move into butt kicks. So I'll show you from the side. You wanna get your feet as close to your booty as possible. And bringing it back to the front, high knees up. Always want to start with cardio before you stretch. And butt kicks. Good, we're gonna slow it down. Take your arms to the side, pulls up. And lift your palms up. Palms down, pulse. Really stretch your arms and up. Let's do some squats. We go down and lift. Down and lift. Again, strengthen those arms too. Don't just have them be passive, but length and activation. And hold. Good. All right, go ahead and shake your ankles out. Shake your little wrists out. We are going to step out into a second position. Breathe your arms high, cross over and drop. We are now in our first hip stretch. So whether you're here or maybe you're higher, that's okay. Just let gravity do the work. Let your sits bones sink farther towards the floor. While you're here, you wanna make sure that you're using your elbows or your hands to push your knees back. This is where that hip flexibility comes in. You don't wanna just passively sit here and sink. I almost fell over because I wasn't activating. So lift up out of your chest, push your elbows back or hands back and really let those hips open up and get nice and stretched. We're gonna hold it here. If you notice, I'm kind of shifting side to side it just helps activate different parts of your body and personally gives me a better stretch. Holding it here, let's push those elbows or hands back a little bit more. Get those adductors, your inner thigh, even more stretched. From here, everybody, we're gonna put our palms down to the floor, if you're able to. If not, stay higher and really let those hips sink down. Take a deep breath in and out. From here, we're gonna stretch our legs up straight. Let your head fall heavy. 
We're not gonna stay here long. We're gonna turn over to one side into our triangle and then drop down into our lunge. So our lunge, you guys, really gets that hip flexor stretched. What you wanna make sure is there's a straight line from your front knee to that front ankle. One hand is down on the side and we're holding in this hip flexor stretch. From here, you're gonna drop that knee down and you're gonna press up nice and tall. So, oftentimes when people get here, they just sink and they hold. That's not really doing anything, that's a passive stretch. So what I want you to do is lift up, square your hips forward, tuck your booty underneath and sit up as tall as you can. The more you tuck your pelvis under, the deeper of a hip flexor stretch you're gonna get. If you wanna take it up a notch from here, you can lift your arms high and then lengthen up and back. That lengthen really activates that front hip flexor. From there, let's tuck our toes. Go back up to a triangle. We're gonna shift back through the center and over to the other side. You'll notice the leg that you stretched already feels a little bit more lengthened. From here, we're gonna go down to a lunge. Same thing here, everybody. Front knee on top of that front ankle. Holding it here. You wanna get this outside hip squared down. Gorgeous, everyone. Make sure you're breathing. Go ahead and drop that knee down. We're gonna press up nice and tall. Just a reminder here to lift, square, tuck, lengthen. Lots of good things to think about in that lunge. Breathing here. And releasing. Take it up one notch if you'd like. Reach up and back. You can even play with reaching side to side. Figure out what feels good for your body. From here, we're gonna tuck that toe and flip to the front. So this is another nice hip stretch. Point that outside foot if you are a dancer. From here, everybody, you are going to try to go down to your forearms. Maybe you're just here and we're holding, that's okay. You'll work your way to get your forearms to the floor. Good, and from here, we're going to bring it up. We're going to shift through the middle, over to the other side. You really wanna make sure that this knee, the bent knee, is pushing back. You'll find that you'll get a nice hip stretch if you lengthen that knee backwards instead of just dipping forward. So from here, go ahead and go towards the middle as far as you can. I'm a little bit tighter on this side, so I might not go down to my forearms, and I'll just stay a little bit higher. So we're finding that deeper hip stretch. And one more breath here. And we'll just go ahead and sit all the way down onto our booties. And we're gonna shift into a pigeon. So the pigeon gets that outside part of your hip. You're gonna tuck this knee in, stretch the other leg back. And if you notice, I did a quick shift to get this outside hip towards that front heel. And you're gonna hold it here. If you want the hip flexor stretch, go ahead and arch back. And if you want to get the outside of that front hip, go ahead and take it forward. If you can go all the way down, awesome. If not, just stay where you feel the outside of that hip getting a stretch. 
grounding here, we'll bring it back in. Gently shift over to the other side. Get that leg bent, get this outside hip towards that front heel and hold. Again, arch it back for a hip flexor stretch and then take it as far forward as you'd like to get the outside of that bent leg's hip. All right, once you feel like you've had enough of that pigeon stretch, we're gonna move into our last little stretch, which is your frog. So what we're gonna do is lay all the way down and you're gonna bring your knees up. From here, you're gonna rotate your legs out. So this is a really important motion for your hips and you're gonna hold here. It doesn't matter if your feet are touching. If you would like to keep your feet further apart for a hip stretch, that's fine. But you're just gonna hold in this frog. In terms of your upper body, try not to just sink here. This is a passive stretch. I want you to push out of your forearms, lengthen your neck, drop your shoulders, and hold. If you are one of my dancers watching, lift those pinky toes up to the sky, bevel those feet, and hold. From here, you're gonna shift into a higher frog. So you're going to push back, get your booty as close to your heels as possible. A good idea is to shift forward into a low frog and then shift back into a high frog. Shift forward into a low frog. Shift back into a high frog. Let's do that one more time. Shift and low, shoulders down, shift and back. Let's hold it here. Again, don't sink into your shoulders. Coming back to a low frog, bring your knees together, push back and good job. And now for a message from our sponsors at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with so many inspiring classes, you guys, for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Perfect for the Miss Ati Bebes. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With the support of fellow creatives, you guys, there's so many amazing people on that platform. Skillshare motivates you to accomplish real growth with so many incredible class topics. Some of them that I think are really interesting are the fine art classes, music, music production, film and video, and even things for Instagram. So I've been pretty excited to take this iPhone photography class with Dale McManus and it's basically how to take pro photos on just your iPhone. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads and they're always adding new classes. So you can stay focused and put your energy into something positive and light. And you guys, it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And guess what, sweet babies? The first thousand people to use the link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So go, 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 use your creativity for good. All right, you guys, great job following along my hip flexibility routine. So just a reminder, as for any other area of flexibility that you're working on, consistency, patience, and listening to your body. You wanna push your body outside of its comfort zone to stretch and to progress, but make sure you're not entering the scary world of injury and pain and strain and all of the above. You guys, if you want to get my monthly email, go to missauti.com, type in your little email into the pop-up box and you'll get some inspo. You'll be up to date on the, all the events that we're doing. Um, it's totally free and it's just a fun way to stay in the Miss Auti family. Love all of you so much. We'll see you so very soon. Happy stretching.